What's up everybody? We're doing another unboxing. You guys seem to like the last one, so we're back with another one for you to give the people what they want. And um, yeah, last time we did the stray shoe unboxing. This time we got snacks, and who doesn't like snacks? Um, we're doing snack crate unboxing. And man, we've actually been signed up to this for a minute, like really with no intention of <laughs> of doing a video about it or anything. But like I said, we, the unboxing was pretty fun last time, so we decided to do another one. And yeah, so what Snack Crate is, and like we're not sponsored by it or anything, but if you want to hit us up. But uh, but yeah, every every month they send us a box of snacks from a different country. So every every month is a different country. And it's cool just, you know, trying stuff that otherwise we never would have tried. Or like sometimes it's even a brand you're familiar with, like Lay's chips, but like a yeah, strange every country sends some kind of lace flavor yeah and it's like and it has the, the writing on it from the different languages and like different flavors that we would essentially never get here in america that just kind of aren't suited to an american palate but but i don't know there's not much i don't like honestly we love eating food from different countries and different kind of styles of food and it's cool to get to kind of explore the different cultures through food and they even have a little um scannable qr code for spotify for the music so you kind of get to experience the culture slightly of these different countries around the world but uh yeah, there's been everything from Latin America to Europe to Asia. Like we've had Thailand, India, Ukraine, Israel, Japan, South Africa. Um, so yeah, we, we. I mean, there's no telling when you open this up where it's gonna be from. Yeah, everyone's been fun and delicious. Yeah, yeah, and that's another thing. Like, now is every single snack from every single country a knockout home run? No, but like, is honestly, is, is any of it garbage or gross? Like, honestly, I don't think so. I think we like, if essentially liked. Maybe it's not our favorite thing, but we've been able to at least get down everything that's <laughs> came. But yeah, well, and oftentimes it's like we find a couple of things we really, really like that we're like we're bummed we can't just like get them whenever we want them. So, so but yeah. They have like um a, an, another scanner where um you can go to their website and it takes you to that snack and you can order more of that. Oh, cool! I honestly didn't even know that. Good thing <laughs> she's along for this video <laughs> for sure. But yeah, so we, we wrote down our predictions of what we think it's going to be. And they're both pretty major countries that we haven't received yet. So it's like I said, this isn't that random of a guess. Like we had, it's kind of an educated guess because we have some process of elimination. We can mark off the countries that we've already received. And then also like some pretty big ones that we think like we're surprised we haven't seen yet. So my guess is Mexico, especially here in California. We border Mexico. It's right there. Um, you know, Mexican culture is deeply rooted, especially in San Jose, where we're at. And so, but we haven't got an official one for Mexico yet, which I feel like that's not the most exotic. And most of the Mexican snacks you can probably get at the local, you know, bodega. But hey, I we haven't seen Mexico yet, and, and I'm a little surprised. So my official prediction is Mexico. What about you? Um, I say Russia. We haven't got that yet. And I feel like that's, I don't know. I'm yeah, maybe the Russian snacks will like make me wrestle better, get my Khabib on. But uh, but yeah, I guess without further ado, let's open this bad boy up with my Rambo knife over here. Let's go. Oh, Spain. España. There we go. Hey, that's interesting because like when I think of Spain, especially the only thing I know about Spain food is like tapas, like which are essentially like little appetizers, right? All right, and we got some ruffles. So like, oh, like she said, there's almost always a Lay's chip or a ruffles. Here, and a, let's show you. Dun, dun, it dun. says there, ruffles jamon, which is ham. I know that, shout out Miss Von Bargain, high school Spanish teacher, but uh, yeah, jamon, ham. So, you know, and, and see in America, I feel like we would probably have more bacon flavored chips, but I guess in Spain, ham is, a, is just more suited to their culture and palate. Seems decently American enough. That's not that strange ham. Oh, let's open it up and try it out, and then go to the next one. Hey, I'm not mad at it. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be the guinea We're pig. We're too excited. That's good. It that. tastes like breakfast ham, like uh, a like ham and eggs ham, like not like turkey, like a uh, sandwich ham, but like yeah, like you fry up a big thick ham steak in a in a cast iron skillet. Those are really good, really fire. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Great. Like, seriously. Like, I, I would, it, it, compared to normal American flavors, if I saw these at the store, I would buy them. Um, 
Next, I guess we get um more mm. chips, but these said fried egg taste chips. You want to kind of hold those up to the camera? Okay. Fried egg taste okay. chips. That's mm -hmm. all the information I have to go off of. Same as you guys. Um, I'm yeah. not familiar with them. I've never had an egg chip. I've had egg noodles, obviously. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Right there. Right there. Right there. El Valle Huevo Frito. These uniquely flavored savory chips have an uncanny resemblance to an actual fried egg. You might just found your breakfast substitute. So did ya? It does have the egg flavor. Does Whoa. It really? Nice man. I can't really smell like chips. Mm. It's it literally like I mean it's pretty much self-explanatory. You take a plain Lay's potato chip and you take fried egg and you combine it. That's exactly what you got here. Egg chips exactly come as advertised. They didn't they didn't uh, do the bait and switch. They come tell it how it is. Egg chip tastes like eggs and chips. Hey, I'm not mad at it, you know. No. Not I don't think I like them as much as the ham. It's crazy we got eggs and ham. I, I, you know what? I'm oh, gonna combine them. How fun. Let's have breakfast. Breakfast time. Late night breakfast, everybody. Oh, Alright, yeah. so I got right. some ham and eggs. Yummy breakfast. Literally tastes like ham and eggs. <laughs> this is kind of trippy. It kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter birdie bots, every flavor of beans, but they're like <laughs> crunchy chips. That's wild. What a trip. Alright, so yeah, as always, they, they usually come with some savory, some sweet. And yeah, I'm, we're still yeah, sort of like we're getting to the sweet fruit roll, fruit roll. Right. and it right. says fizz, and that's a trend I've noticed in a lot of other countries' candy. There's like a fizz, almost like pop rocks. You know, if you've ever had pop rocks, that kind of fizz pop in your mouth. A lot of other countries' candy has a similar effect. Ooh, claims to be the longest candy belt. So yeah, it's kind of like it's rolled up like a like, like a fruit by the foot. Got the sour sugar on it. Oh, strawberry flavored so it essentially tastes like a strawberry fruit by the foot or like you know like any mm. other it doesn't necessarily taste foreign or anything you know it's a just normal strawberry candy but i'm not mad at it tasty so tasty mm -hmm. all right yeah really good literally liked everything so far no misses it i don't think Let's see, so we got some hard candies here. Look like something you may grab out of a dish at your grandma's house, something like mm -hmm. that. Let me see. I'm trying to read about them. Are, is, oh. are they on there? Um. Oh, yeah. They're called picotas. picotas. These bright red candies feature a crunchy, sugary outer layer with a soft, gummy so center bursting with slacking. cherry flavor. You know, I'm not gonna eat this on camera. Because it's it's a hard candy, so it's meant to stay in your mouth a while. I don't want to have it in my mouth while I'm talking to you guys. So we didn't try these little red candies because we thought they were hard candies and that would be hard to talk with. But they're actually really chewy and delicious and I'm not mad at it at all. Next, we got these Kispazo Sabor Electrico, electric Ooh. flavor. They kind of look like goldfish or they Cheetos. Do. They're star shaped. Interesting to see, you know, like what. Uh, they're spicy. They're spicy and probably cheesy. That sounds mm -hmm. right up. I mean, who doesn't like spicy, cheesy oh, snacks? That's man. a pretty much like bulletproof recipe. How would Rambo open this? Ugh. There you go. Oh, look, they're so cute. Look at my little shoulder. No. <laughs> oh, it's upside down, but. Ta da! Those are really, really good. Really good. Like, they're crunchier than. Oh, they're, they're pretty similar to a Cheeto. Pretty similar to a Cheeto, but. Oh, they smell like Cheetos. Little star oh, I Cheetos. Love Cheetos. But with a little, like, flavor, like. If you put like taco seasoning on on some Cheetos or something like, pretty damn good. Like so, we're so far we're batting we're batting a thousand. I mean that's one two three four five for five, and there's two two more snacks um two more snacks remaining. Um, we we and this whole box is fifteen dollars, so it's like I feel like you get fifteen dollars worth of stuff if you were to go to like a liquor store, or convenience store late at night and get a bunch of snacks. 
those bills turn out to be higher than you usually expect them. So, well, yeah, you get to try stuff from different countries every month. We always look forward yeah, to it, like seriously. Okay, we're gonna check I don't this think one I can first. Have that one. You guys ate this called cereales. I, I think it's like cookies and milk or, or and cereal chocolate? and milk. It says. Chocolate Blanco. Yeah, Chocolate Blanco. I think that's it. I don't need like Google Translate for that one. Um, galletas con cereales. Delicious biscuits. What an interesting word to use to describe a biscuit. Delicious biscuits oh, made with crunchy biscuits. cereal and bits of blueberries, semi-coated with smooth white chocolate. I think that one I am going to eat on camera. That sounds delicious. Oh, man. Probably can't have those. Tell me how it is. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh, these are these are cute. Yeah, they're like little cookies. They remind me of the oatmeal cookies. Those are that delicious. Have, like, the, the those are delicious. Bro, no, you know what they taste like? Hmm. What are those little cookies? They're round and they have like fruit in the center. Oh, I don't remember what those are called. Old people be eating them. You know what I'm talking about? They're like little round, they're not sugar cookies, it's like little brown like butter cookies. Maybe they're called butter cookies with a little fruit in the middle. That's exactly mm. what these taste like, but with like a little frosting on them, kind of like a texture of like an animal cookie. Really oh. fire, really fire. Yeah. Not mad at it at yeah. all. I can't stop eating them. Mm. One for the road. So delicious, oh man. All right. Here? All right, there's the next one. What do we got here? Just um, it's called a Mivel Toron Vieira, Vienna. Um, layers of country waffle sandwich together with creamy nougat, then dipped in rich chocolate to make an unmistakable flavor. And they, they did a good job of writing that. My mouth is watering. All right. Chocolate bar, candy bar vibes, you know. I wonder if it's way free. Yeah, wafer, maybe, like, I've noticed, and this is a trend I've noticed that almost every country has, like, a version of, like, a Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. Like, it's our Kit Kat-esque type of texture. They said wafer. It's kind of light. For how big it is, it's very light. I'm, I'm guessing, like, a Kit Kat-y type vibe going on here. Like, almost every country they've sent us has had some form of Kit Kat. Japan was actual Kit Kats, but, like dope like flavors that you can't get what here. What flavor was One was like strawberry and cream and the other one was like mochi. But just but actual Kit Kat brand. But oh, yeah, right. almost every every country has like something similar. <laughs> so this isn't Kit Kat, but it's them cookies and I'm damn it, I'm doing the worst job of like recalling the name of these desserts. But like the, <laughs> the little wafer cookies with the cream on the inside. It's literally one of those oh, dipped in um, chocolate. Are they just the wafer cookies? I think they're just wafer cookies yeah. with cream in the inside. Yeah, the, yeah. It's, it's literally one of those dipped in chocolate. So no no mystery, no strange comparison to make that. I think that's literally what it is, which works, you know. Classic, timeless, you know, that relates to all cultures. Hard to mess that one up. So, honestly, this box was one of the best ones. I disagree, only because... Um, I have allergy restrictions and a lot of the stuff I can't have. So I don't usually get to always get the candy, so yeah. that's usually a bright side. Yeah, but I mean, as somebody who did get to eat it, man, everything was delicious. The strangest, probably most foreign tasting thing was definitely the egg chips, but it's not gross, not like bad. Different and not something that really you would get probably here in America and not I don't think something that would be like successfully mass marketed to an American audience I don't think Americans on the whole would probably drive with these but I mean, I'm not a picky eater I think they tasted fine. I, I don't know if I would like go to the store hungry having the munchies and and and, and want to buy those specifically <laughs> now these ham chips different story and these little spicy uh, star I Cheetos I so delicious. Same with these um, these little mini cookies with the cream and blueberries. Oh man, what a combination! Oh. Well, this sour roll is delicious. Yeah, the sour roll, the candy, pretty straightforward. Timeless, you know, something that relates, like I said, to all cultures. Hard to mess up, but yeah, this snack crate did not disappoint. You should order. You should check it out. Um, they deliver a different country to your um. To your doorstep every month and um, actually let's pull this out and show you so every box has 
some, let's, where's the fun facts? Some fun facts that are on there. And pretty artwork and photos. Yeah, and then my favorite part is that there's a scannable QR code for the music. And you get, like I said, you get to learn a little yeah. bit. You get to experience the culture through taste and music. It's like, I know that's not fully experiencing a culture, but hey, you're eating their food. You're listening to their music. You're learning about their history. It's cool. And like I said, we, we look forward to it every month. We've learned about a bunch of different countries. We can add now Spain to that list. And yeah, I didn't, neither of us predicted Spain, mm -hmm. um, but hey, I don't think we're disappointed. And yeah, and yeah shout out to Spain. If there's anybody from Spain watching this video, leave it in the comments below and like, share, and subscribe to Dreadful Talk Podcast and Beefy Boys Breakdown if you're into UFC and MMA. Thanks, everybody. Do it.